Hello everyone, welcome to my video. We are here today at Holland, Michigan, just two and a half hour drive from Chicago. We are heading to the Windmill Island. It is Holland's treasured island. The weather was absolutely pleasant and it was spectacular to drive around the Holland town in this beautiful weather. The Holland town is filled with cherry blossom trees and tulips all around. The Tulip Festival currently runs from first Saturday in May through the second Saturday. We visited on the first day of the festival and it was absolutely overcrowded. And here we are at the destination. was closed near the windmill area henceforth we had to walk up to the island luckily we had free shuttle buses running up and down to make it easy for the crowd as it was a pleasant day we decided to walk up to the island and the walk was just about 10 minutes suggest you all to not to really opt to go on the first day of this festival because it was totally overcrowded and the queue was so huge the queue was more than 100 meters long We're dressed up in lovely costumes and we are finally here at the windmill island garden <music> tulip festivals are held in many cities around the united states of america that were founded or largely inhabited by dutch settlers it has been held every year in mid-May since 1929 and this festival is currently the largest tulip festival in the United States. Windmill Island Garden is a home for 251 year old Windmill Dizwan, the only authentic working Dutch windmill in the United States. This garden spreads to a stretch of 36 acres land of manicured gardens, dikes and canals. And there we have our map for the day. Just to brief a bit on this island, throughout Windmill Island Gardens, you'll find more costumed guides, an Amsterdam street organ, a hand-painted Dutch carousel, children's playground, picnic areas and also you will get to see all the flags of the Netherlands. There is more, you will also get to see a replica of Dutch Inn.
a spring, see more than 100,000 tulips in bloom throughout the gardens, including a mass planting of more than 60,000 blooms. Swan windmill. Can anyone believe that this windmill is almost 251 years old and it's still functional? It is a spectacular part in this beautiful garden. We decided to take a tour of this windmill. You can see this beautiful lady saying hi to us. This is level 1 where they handle customer service. Level 2 consists of packaging area. Level 3 is a place where they collect all the floor. We are not allowed to level 4, but that is where they start all the process by adding the wheat into the mill. And coming to the most exciting part of the tour. The tulip garden. As discussed earlier, there are 100,000 plantations in this windmill island gardens. We got to notice more than 10 different colors of tulips all around the garden. I've also created a video on just the tulip flowers Please take a look into my tulips video, I've added the link in the description box below. And there is our Chicago, 93 miles away. I mean, I'm not a kid, but yeah, I was just trying to make a video to show how fun it was. And there was a small display of the sluice gate. Next, we are heading to the replica of a Dutch inn, the Little Netherland exhibit. Also, 
few gift shops and food trucks in the garden. Finally, we hit the conservatory of this garden. Here we come to an end to my video. Please like, share, subscribe for more such videos. After walking a long way around the garden, I was totally tired and yes, we hit the shuttle bus and there you go. Also, my Apple Watch said I walked for 5 miles. Thank you.